And you know, this uh, combination over the years of baseball, fireworks, and orchestra music has proven nothing short of a home run for the Bisons who say all of the performers really look forward to this. These would include not only those who wield batons and violin bows, but also those whose instruments of play involve bats and gloves. This morning found the BPO going through its final rehearsal for its 27th annual Independence Day performance at the ballpark, safe from the rain, inside the cavernous Buffalo Powerhouse on Lee Street. Yeah, a great partnership for almost three decades now, and, and that starts uh, with Paul Farrington, the maestro, as well. Not that these folks need any help, but they've got some this year. Yeah, this is, a, this is awesome. The 27th year we've done this, and the first time we've been able to add a, a, an orchestra like this, a jazz ensemble like this. Reporting for duty, members of the U.S. Army jazz ambassadors who climbed off their bus, sat right in, and didn't seem to miss a beat. Traveling the world, and they happened to be in the area, and so uh, we scooped them up, and uh, they're very excited to, to perform and be a part of this magical day. I, when we started telling them what we did on July 3rd with the baseball and the BPO, and they said, "Wow, that's a great event! And, and can we be a part of it?" And we said, "Absolutely!" And, and we're excited to have them uh, be a part of the show. The music and the fireworks are not just enjoyed by the fans. The team's assistant general manager, Brad Bisbing, says more than a few players have been known to linger after they put down their bats and watch as well. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. You'll see, you'll see the dugout filled with players and their families. The players know that this is a special night as well, and, and, and they want to perform well for the, for the big house, the big crowd that's going to be uh, in attendance, and, and to celebrate uh, the holiday uh, with everyone together. What to wear, what to wear. Well, members of the BPO, we're told, will uh, don their usual semi-formal performance attire, although their conductor, Paul Farrington, uh, will be wearing a Bison's jersey. Uh, he says the musicians, by the way, really look forward to this night as well. In fact, he told me, let's put it this way, I don't get too many requests from them for vacation on this particular week. Reporting live from downtown outside the ballpark, Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.